Hi, and welcome. I'm Vicki Shaw with Clinical Liver Disease Journal, and I'm here today with Dr. Eshwani Sigal, and he comes from University of South Dakota. We're here to talk about his article on portal and mesoteric venous thrombosis and cirrhosis. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Um, so can we just go over clinical features of portal mesenteric venous thrombosis? Yeah, I think that's a good question because uh, <clears throat> identifying um, uh, portal venous uh, or mesenteric venous thrombosis is critical uh, for the reason that although the commonest manifestation could be abdominal pain uh, or just worsening of underlying cirrhosis, um, many a times and quite often, uh, the disease can manifest uh, without any symptoms. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it is critical to uh, know when to suspect uh, underlying portal vein thrombosis. So if I have to give certain uh, clues here uh, for practitioners or people who practice liver disease and hepatology, um, sudden worsening of liver disease and underlying cirrhosis mm -hmm. would be one uh, area. Unexplained abdominal pain should not be ignored. Um, uh, sudden uh, increase in ascites mm -hmm. uh, is another uh, manifestation. And then non-specific, especially when the mesenteric venous circulation is involved, uh, patients can start having non-specific symptoms like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, often on melena, EGD is normal. So don't ignore those symptoms. Uh, get the right study uh, to make sure that patient is not having mesenteric venous compromise. So how can we make this diagnosis? <clears throat> uh, that's a good question also because once you suspect, you need to know how to make the diagnosis. Uh, I think the initial starting point being uh, cheap uh, or less expensive or being um, uh, easily available uh, would be an ultrasound, mm -hmm. Doppler study. Mm -hmm. So you do a Doppler ultrasound uh, to make sure your portal vein is patent, in mesenteric veins there is no clot. Uh, however, uh, the ultrasound being operator dependent, uh, it's good sensitive test, so it's a negative predictive value is excellent. However, its specificity or a positive predictive value is not more than 80, 85 uh, percent. So you need to confirm if there is a suspicion of portal vein thrombosis uh, with a CT scan. The advantage of contrast CT scan uh, is that not only you can detect uh, the portal vein or mesenteric vein thrombosis, uh, but also uh, whether the intestines uh, or uh, the circulation is compromising the integrity of the intestines. And that's important to make uh, judgment into treatment because uh, if the bowel integrity is maintained, you can very well treat with the first line, which is anticoagulation. But if you suspect that the bowel integrity is not and your infarction or gangrene of the bowel is likely to set in, you want to move to the next step, which is surgical or interventional uh, treatment rather than depending on anticoagulation. So can you go a little bit more in depth with the treatment options? Yeah, so the first line of treatment is anticoagulation because it's a thrombotic disease. Um, if we are just limiting to cirrhosis patients, so cirrhosis, many people think the INR is high. Mm -hmm. Patients are more prone to bleeding, but we need to realize that the liver forms the um, clotting factors, but also the anti-clotting factors. Mm -hmm. So uh, the INR of 1.8 may not reflect the balance between the clotting and anti-clotting factors. That's not is not telling you. So even at uh, INR of two, the patient may be prone to thrombosis. And there are many, many studies which have shown that cirrhosis itself is a pro-thrombotic mm -hmm. state. Uh, so uh, generally, we don't work up for underlying clotting disorder uh, or thrombophilia in cirrhosis patients uh, because the uh, prevalence of this disease is quite high in cirrhosis, especially in decompensated patients in studies up to 20 percent, 25 percent um, who are listed for transplant, that could be that high a number. Uh, unless the patient has a family history of thrombosis or uh, has had multiple recurrent thrombosis uh, or has had um, uh, thrombosis at unusual sites, say for example, hepatic veins or somewhere else which normally don't happen. Yeah. So, uh, so generally thrombophilia workup is not performed in these patients. So have, after excluding that uh, uh, you know, indication for thrombophilia, and the patient doesn't have any indication, 
then you want to move on and if you suspect the bowel integrity is maintained, you want to move on to the first line of treatment which is anticoagulation. Mm -hmm. But all cirrhosis patients are not going to be anticoagulated. Two ma major decisions have to be made. Number one, that you're not dealing with a tumor thrombus, mm -hmm. okay? Because cirrhosis patients are also at risk for cancer, okay? And you want to make sure that this thrombus in your portal vein or mesenteric vein is not an extension of a tumor. So after making that decision, and that you usually do by a contrast CT scan. So that's another advantage of doing a CT that you can rule out a tumor thrombus. So once that has been ruled out, the second thing you want to make sure, especially if the patient is not listed for transplant, is that it is a complete thrombus mm -hmm. before you hit the anticoagulation. A partial thrombus in the portal vein which maintains the blood flow to the liver, uh, probably you want to wait and maybe do another scan a week later and making sure it is not progressing. Mm -hmm. If it is progressing now, you want to treat anticoagulation. So, so the first line of treatment is anticoagulation. And this, if the patient's uh, not responding to anticoagulation, which rarely happens, Normally, the anticoagulation should open the veins uh, or at least stabilize the clot uh, in a fair amount, 80%, 85% success rate. Uh, but if it is not happening, then you want to move on, and if the patient is still progressing to some interventional treatments with radiology, um, like thrombolysis or uh, some kind of uh, surgical intervention, uh, depending on uh, the situation. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful review about PVT. Thank yeah, you for thank being you. here. Thank you.